Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at some of the questions and comments uh, asked on my channel recently. So the first question is from uh, Herculator and Herculator is asking about uh, after removing a user from the group, how do we deactivate it? Well actually I made a video on uh, adding and removing users uh, from a group. I understand that you know you want to of course remove the user from a group, maybe you want to uh, reduce your license count. Now the most simplest thing that you can do is you can um, simply deactivate them. So it is also possible to deactivate them using a script enough for Jira and I will definitely share a script with all of you soon. The next question is from Manish and Manish is asking about uh, I need a curl command uh, to change the status of an issue. Well Manish I actually made a video on uh, this topic of uh, doing a transition. You don't really change the status, you basically transition the issue. So status is not really a field or a drop down field in Jira. You basically need to make sure that there is a available transition from uh, one state to another state and I actually have a video on the exact same topic on, uh, on this topic of uh, doing a transition using a Jira REST API. So if you search in my playlist you will find it and uh, you were asking about uh, doing it using curl command well uh, I personally use a talent API tester if you want to do some test it will help you in uh, basically uh, testing the API and uh, generating curl command is of course nothing uh, different it's all about uh, passing the parameters right parameters with the right body and of course uh, uh, consuming the right URL the next question is from uh, Raju Singh and Raju Singh is saying that uh, I'm new to TM4J test management for Jira and uh, I'm looking for a way to execute the automated test case. Well actually this is uh, one of uh, the most requested uh, question or comment on my uh, on my channel. I made a few videos on TM4J uh, last year but uh, since then I didn't get a chance to make more videos on this but uh, definitely uh, I will try to cover this topic uh, uh, soon. This question is from uh, Bhamati Shah and Bhamati Shah is asking about uh, fetching the work log information from Jira issues. I also have a, a video on this topic on my channel. Uh, if you search about, uh, if you search how to fetch a work log, you will find a video where I talked about uh, doing the exact same thing. So in Jira, when people log their work on different issues, you can, you, you can not only fetch the work log, but there is also a possibility to add a work log. So I recommend you to take a look at uh, that video. The next question is from uh, Uma and Numa is asking about uh, the difference between portfolio and uh, advanced roadmaps for Jira and uh, she was asking about uh, is advanced roadmaps uh, only applicable for uh, one project and portfolio is applicable on multiple projects advanced roadmaps portfolio and advanced roadmaps they're both same uh, you are probably checking the roadmaps not the advanced roadmap so when you are working with advanced roadmaps there is nothing but uh, the portfolio that uh, uh, was rebranded few months ago and in case you are wondering uh, this is the Slough power station and uh, this is the Mars factory the famous Mars factory so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching today's video and you learned something new today thank you very much